Let's make two counters with two displays that work together. That's our goal. To do that, we're going to need some tools. Let's get a switch over here. And let's immediately <clears throat> convert that to a push button. Beautiful. Now we need two counters. Let's go get them. One and two. We'll also need two displays. Segment displays. And let's put this here and this one here because they're going to work together. Next, we're going to need two grounds here and here. Whoops, let's move that over, make it look neat. And this too. Hmm, let's see now. We're going to have some problems here. We're going to have to be very neat. This can get very complex, and because of the complexity, it can look sloppy, and because of the sloppiness, hard to understand. So we're going to design this so that it's also easy to see and understand. All right, we'll have to be a little bit more careful. That's all. So. Let's do that. We'll start off by connecting up this counter. This counter to this display. All right. So we wire 3 to 3, 2 to 2, 1 to 1, and 0 to 0. Good. We're done. Let's connect up the D to ground. We're done. Move that in a bit closer. Fine. The next thing we want to do is connect up this second counter to ground. Let me move that and line that up nice and neat. And now let's connect up this counter to ground, like so. Next, I want to connect up the push button to this counter, like so. Yes, I want some space here. You'll see why in a moment. And next, I want to connect up this count, this display, seven segment display, to this counter here. But if I connect them up directly like this, it's going to look sloppy and confusing. So we won't do that. What we're going to do is click on this node, and <clears throat> I'm going to put four nodes here, 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 and here. I didn't line them up perfectly with that, so I'm going to do that now. Uh, Click here, put that about there. This one I'll put about here. This one about there. This one about here, I think. That looks almost right. Let's find out. Let's try and connect these up now. I connect up number three to the node. And the node to this three. Beautiful. This node two to this node, and this node to this pin, pin two. Now, pin one to this node, and this node to pin one of the counter. And finally, pin zero to this node, and this node to this pin zero. Ah, okay, uh, if I could move it a little bit this way, I'll get some more space, it looks a little bit clearer. 
Okay, I like that. Now, <clears throat> with this push, push button arrangement now, this counter where my arrow is pointing will send signals here to this display and only to this fellow. This will read a, uh, one, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. And then you know, it'll send out a carry on this line, this pin here, marked C, labeled C. And then it'll go back to 0. But of course, this is not connected to anything, this carry. I'm going to connect it now. I'm going to put a node here and here and here. There we go. Well, let's see if this works. There. There. And about there. Okay. Here we go. Connection time. I connect the carry to this node, this node to this node, this node to this node, and finally this node to the counter here. Wow, it worked. Let me see. Is there anything else we need? No, there isn't. We are now set. This is going to count to F push button, counter, this display goes to F, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, sends out a 1 to here. When it goes down to over to the next number, it goes F back to 0, it sends out a 1 here, the 1 comes up here, hits this CT line, the counter line, and you get a 1 here. And now it'll say 1, 0. I keep pushing. This guy goes up 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, but it says 1 here. When I hit the push button again, this goes back down to 0, but it sends another carry here. It adds in a 1 at this counter, and this 1 becomes a 2. Now it's 2, 0, etc., etc. Well, let's see how well this works. I'm going to go up to my run simulation and click. Here we go. Cross your fingers. <laughs> so I hit the push button, and oh, it turns into a one. Very good so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. Here we go. Should send a one over here, and this should this display should turn into a one, and this should be go back back around, go back down to zero. Here we go. Oh, it worked. One, zero. Now, do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F. Should turn into a two now. Two, zero. Bingo. There we go. It's working. Amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, A, B, C, D, E, F, three, zero. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F, 4, 0. Wow. That's amazing. And that's how you make these displays work with two counters. Thanks for watching, and so long from Hoboken Gear.